Hi guys, it's me again, and I'm going to be reviewing a study in Charlotte, which I finished a couple of days ago, and I just haven't gotten around to filming because it's been very busy with school ending and everything. So, this, first off, I just wanted to say how much I love this cover, like I am in love with this cover, it's so beyond cute, and Let's see. Look at the... You guys see this too. I don't know if you're going to be able to see it, but like there's like a little... A little Sherlock. Well, not Sherlock. It's like little Charlotte Holmes. You can see that. And that's the spine. It's just really pretty. And I am in love with this book. I gave it 5 out of 5 stars. So yeah. So the overall plot of this book is that this boy named Jamie, or James, he, James Watson, and a lot of people call him Jamie, he doesn't really like to be called Jamie, but most people call him Jamie anyways, but that's relevant. Um, this book follows Jamie, and he goes, gets moved to the school in... Oh gosh, was it Minnesota? I don't know. In the United States, and he, where after he's been living with his mom in London for a couple years, after his mom and his dad divorced, even though they had originally from like Minnesota, we're just gonna say Minnesota because I think that was where it was like set. And he's like the great 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 something, um, grandchild of the famous. Watson from Sherlock Holmes and while he's there he meets this girl named Charlotte Holmes and he's heard about her obviously because she's the great 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 something of Sherlock Holmes and they actually kind of get off on a bad foot but there is this guy named Dobson and one day in like the courtyard he's like a butthole um and he's like talking trash about Charlotte and saying some really, really not nice things about her. And um, Jamie, Jamie sticks up for her and, and then Charlotte comes up and is like, I don't need you to stick up, look, stick up for me. I can stick up for my own self. Da, 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 da. And then she fusses at Dobson and that's that. But a couple of days later, Dobson is found murdered and they find out that it was just like a Sherlock Holmes story and that Charlotte and Jamie are getting framed for the murder and they're getting set up for all of this stuff and a lot of different stuff involving previous like Sherlock Holmes stories and uh, there's other violent acts committed and it's just them, they have to investigate, they're doing their own investigation, trying to figure out who is setting them up and find out who the real killer is because they did not, they didn't kill him. And I love this book. This is like easily one of my faves. And this is the first book in a trilogy. And I can't wait for the next book to come out and it comes out next year. But before I get into some spoilers, I definitely want to talk about, you know, very briefly about the characters and how I felt about them and some of the writing and all that stuff. Um, Jamie Watson is, like, a very likable character. I feel like he's, like, he's kind of nerdy a little bit. Um, he seems like somebody that I would really want to hang out with and talk to. Like, he seems somebody, seems like somebody that's, like, really approachable and nice and... I like, I feel like he would be a good friend. And then Charlotte Holmes, on the other hand, she's kind of, she is someone that is probably intimidating, you know, when you look at her, because she's just, you know, real tough, and um, she doesn't let a lot of people in because she's been brought up that way by her family. Like, they've been teaching her how to be like a detective since she was like little, little. And so she's not very open to people and doesn't tell people a lot of stuff, And but she's like genius like she picks up on people's movements and can like tell you your life story just on the way you do things and 
she's very perceptive and I but while I love Jamie um there were times where I struggled with liking Charlotte's character but it's probably just because of the the way she was brought up which made her the way she is and she doesn't necessarily mean it as being like rude or uncouthful Charlotte's just being who she is and you can't really fault her for that and I and there I like just had like a love-hate relationship not even hate I just like I just liked her character while I love Jamie's character I don't know if that makes sense but if you read the book you might understand what I'm talking about I don't know maybe it's just me but um I really like the way this was written and at the end you find out this isn't a secret so I'm gonna say it um you find out that even because like Jamie was like wants to be a writer and you find out that it's actually written like as the book and like because like the epilogue is in Charlotte's point of view and she was talking about how when she read it da 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 and I'm like that's cool like I didn't really realize that but it makes a lot of sense because of what Jamie wants to do and that's all that's what Watson did he like wrote about Sherlock Holmes's you know escapades and it's cool and if you're a fan of Sherlock Holmes you'll definitely love this it's a new spin on it and it's glorious I'm probably gonna talk maybe some like deeper plot stuff and maybe some spoilery stuff next so if you haven't read it I'll probably go ahead and exit now and come back when you finish this book this book made me believe that like everybody like was the killer. I'm like, no, she did it, but no, he did it, but no, she did it. And like, uh, trust no one. Uh, almost like even like when Jamie was getting the vibes that he thought Charlotte may have done it, I was kind of getting those vibes too. I was like, ah, oh, that's kind of sketchy, but that's just you know, it's whatever. She didn't. It's like I didn't really want to believe it, but I kind of was like, eh. and hmm. Um, I really liked everything in this book. I really did not see it being the nurse. Like, I thought she's, oh, she's just so nice, so kind, whatever. And it's a really interesting story about why she did what she did. Because the her um, August killed, her, killed himself. And that's what she thought. So that's why she wanted revenge on Charlotte. But turns out, August isn't really dead. And that's just kind of like, didn't see that coming either. You know, Charlotte's just got a bunch of tricks and secrets up her sleeve. And, um, another aspect of, like, this book is, like, how Jamie's, like, slowly repairing his relationship with his dad and meeting his half-brothers, and it's just cute. I like Jamie's dad. He's pretty. He's pretty cool. And, um, I like how Jamie's trying to help Charlotte stay clean from drugs. Um, yeah, and... What else? I, I was like, Jamie, you can't die. You got two more books left, fam. You can't die. So, I, like, when he got that disease, I'm like, really? Like, how is that possible? But then I think about the, you know, how it has the Holmes, the Watson, and the Mor Moriarty families, you know? They gotta have power in there somewhere to come up with something that diabolical that's, like, gonna kill you unless you get one certain antidote, you know? Um, and Charlotte's just a genius, like, how she, like, sent herself the box and had one of, um, her roommate's friends come in, or boyfriend or something come in and pretend to be, like, choker, you know, to kind of, like, get the police off their trail so that way they could help with the case. I just like that, um, I just really enjoyed this book and the plot twists and, um, the way the mystery unfolded and just how everything went and the writing style and it was just great um so yeah that's about it for this review um until the next video bye guys hold up hold up hold up before you click off this video I want to show you something because it's nerdy and but it's whatever um I get gel nails and I have black with a purple sparkly finger and well after I got them done I didn't realize it but then I got home and I was like oh my god I match the crown and I was so excited I was like ah. and I took a picture because you know nerd life
But, okay, for real this time, bye guys. See you in the next video.